commiserations. I suppose it was a good game. Um, Depends uh, where you were sitting. Sorry? Depends where you were sitting. Yeah, yeah, tough way to lose. <clears throat> uh, first of all, how do you sort of see that, uh, that last situation? What do you tell Tom um, in that last season? I, I didn't see the free kick, so I can't really comment on whether it was a free kick or not. I mean, he's, he's desperate to try and stop a score, so you know things happen when 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 you're desperate to do that, and it didn't go our way today. So it is what it is. We move on. You guys also you found yourself in a pretty commanding position in the third quarter, and I was able to you know bring it back later on. What do you think changed in the, in the game? Um. It was an interesting one, you know. I thought like we had some moments where we were moving the ball well, and then they were able to stifle us again. And so we were a bit patchy in that again, which is disappointing. Um, they had some opportunities to score and and maximise those. Um, you know, a couple of little cough ups from us allowed them to get some really good entries and and score on the back of them. So, you know, we were pretty disappointed with some of our ball use. We f we felt like we contributed. A little bit to their scores, but um, but certainly the way they defended was really strong, and the pressure they brought was again really good. Mm. Yep. Yeah, well, they cost you, and particularly the way that Hawthorne's been playing over the last five weeks, six now. Uh, you know, they've won five of the last six. They're they're, they're in really strong form. I think if you did the latter in the last six week period they'd be sitting second or third and so we knew what we were coming up against we knew that it was going to be a close game we knew that any mistakes that we made they could potentially go back and and punish us and and that they did obviously with dead breaks going down you guys have yet the centre's in the ruck um what was the message to the midfielders to try and get you know maximum advantage out of that then it was a really interesting um, situation. You know, obviously Reeves has is, is, is had a really good season. Um, so him going down potentially hurt their stoppage stuff, but it probably helped their transition with, with Weddle coming in and, and playing a, a role through there. I thought he was pretty good in transition. And, um, you know, I thought Briggsy fought on really hard in terms of that aspect of the game. You know, obviously with, with his dominance in... Um, in stoppage, we didn't probably get this, you know, the results that we would have liked, even though the numbers would suggest we were pretty strong. Um, Hawthorne still structured up really well and provided, a, you know, a lot of pressure coming out of there. So it was it was an interesting one. You know, I mean, um, you walk away and you go, well, yeah, well, we had some clearance domination in that in that half, but probably didn't maximise it well enough, and maybe Weddle contributed a little bit to their scoring in transition. Um, big day for the Zayn. Yeah, it was. It was. Finished with four goals as a really strong effort. You know, we we've played him in that role a little bit. He started as an inside mid um, tonight or this afternoon, and um, you know was okay around the ball, but went forward and was able to finish some some good stuff, some forward fifty stoppage stuff, which um, you know certainly looks good. Got us going in that third quarter, but uh, unfortunately we weren't able to support him well enough. Who's that, sorry? Um, yeah, it's a hard one. We like his run, um, but I, I guess if you're kicking four goals, we'd like your finish too. So, um, yeah, he's probably he's probably more of a forward at, at this point in time, depending upon who we get back, of course. You know, we expect a, you know, Kelly to push next week to get back in. Uh, Buckley should be right, so we'll, we'll see what the mix of the team looks like next week. And also the interpretations have changed a little bit Uh, no, I don't think it's hard to adapt to. I mean, I, I look at it now and I think it's how it should be umpired personally. Uh, I like the fact that, um, you know, we're forcing the players to, to at least make an attempt to get rid of the ball and if they don't, then, then they get pinged and, you know, we saw a few again tonight. I, I, I really like the rule. The last couple of games at Geelong and then today was two really high contested games and real finals and games. What do you take out of those two games um? Um, well, we were able to get the job done against the Cats a fortnight ago, even though the last quarter probably uh, you know, it, the tide was against us. Um, I thought tonight uh, the Savo was a little bit different. Um, you know, I felt like we had the game, we had opportunity to potentially lock the game away and we failed to do so. Hawthorne capitalised on, a, on, a, um, on an entry and you know, that's, that's sometimes how close the game is. You, you, you've got to maximise your opportunities when you have it. 
and uh, and minimise the oppositions. Obviously, had a really hot start for the year. It's been, wins have been a bit hard to come by in your last few rounds. But how do you try and you know, readdress that form and, and you know, make sure you're finishing off the year in the right way? Yeah, well, it's an interesting one. I mean, I don't think any team, <clears throat> I don't think, now I might be wrong, Sydney have certainly uh, been fantastic so far this year, but most teams have had a bit of a lull. You know, we've had a lull. We kind of haven't found our way out of that, even though we got a win uh, a fortnight ago. Um, you know, you just got to ride the bumps along the way, try and learn your lessons, keep improving your game, keep improving as individuals and, and hope that the tide, the tide turns. And, and I think it will for our group. Um, I expect to get a few players back in dribs and drabs over the next three weeks. So I think, you know, we'll probably get six players back over the next three weeks, maybe seven. And so that'll that'll certainly help us, but then that'll present different challenges with with a lack of football and continuity together. So uh, we'll just we'll just keep putting our heads down, working hard, trying to get the results, uh, working out why we don't get the results and keep working on our game and that's all we can do. Thank you, Gideon. <clears throat>